Okay, now we're going to do legs up the wall pose. Wall, legs. Onto the bottom. We need to sidle up to the wall. And then we're going to need to lie down on the back and basically bottom shuffle until we get our legs to come onto the wall. Bottom nice and close. Now, if the hamstrings are tight, you're going to have to find a little way of getting those to release. Over the course of time, that will happen. You'll notice that your heart will be able to rest because it can pump the blood up and down towards your brain very easily without having to go against gravity. Also very restful for the spine, allows the spine to settle and the sponginess of the discs to increase with the increased blood flow. You want to open up the chest and the heart, you take the arms up. If the arms and the shoulders are tight, then you'll notice that the arms are lifted. So try and allow those to soften back against the wall. Now, if you wanted to turn this into a true inversion, you just require a cushion. So to come out of it, slowly roll to the side. Gently as you bring yourself up, grab the nearest available cushion and pop that down. And then repeat the pose, but this time with a cushion underneath your bottom. So the key advantage of this now is I have got my bottom higher than my heart. So I'm basically reversing the aging effects of gravity as all the blood now is coming down to my head, neck, shoulders and my brain. And I think there are not many people who don't want to reverse the aging effects of gravity. Stay in this pose for a minimum of five minutes, a maximum of 20, and you will feel completely rejuvenated.